Okay, so we're now going to stick our stickers to James. As we can see, we have got our uh, lovely fake chest on James, um, and we can see lots and lots of ribs on this, so we can then make sure we get into the right, the correct position. So you can stick these stickers on either limbs first and then chest second, or chest first and limbs second. It doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to show you the limbs first. So if we are going to be sticking our stickers on, when you do an ECG, you will need 10 self-adhesive stickers. And these ones that we've got here have a little tab on the side um, where the ECG machine is attached to. And there's all sorts of variants out there. Some have little poppers you put on, some have little grips you put on. But the ones we use here are the crocodile clip version ones where we've got the tab sticking outside. So if we're going to put them on, we tend to put them on a bony prominence, um, which actually reduces the interference that you might get with an ECG. And when you put the limb leads on, you want to put them at the end of the limb, and on a nice bony surface, so on his, um, put here on James's shin bone there. On his wrists, obviously James's wrists would be at his side, um, but and he's holding his chest in place just in case it falls onto the floor. Um, but we are going to stick the stickies on the bony part of his wrist with the tab pointing outwards. Um, if you just put the tab pointing outwards on both the limbs, it's just easier for the wires to come in, they don't tend to peel off things. Right, then we need to find where we're doing them on the chest, so we don't rub his chest like that, that's just completely inappropriate. But what we'd want to do is make sure we find the correct place for our first tab. There are six tabs to put onto the um, chest, and um, the first tab we're going to put on is what we call V1. Um, we need to find that place on the chest, and we want to put it in the fourth intercostal space, so the fourth gap between the ribs, and we need to put half on the sternum and half on the, off the sternum on the right hand side. So we're going to count down one, two, three, four, and we're going to find half of where the sternum is and place it in the right place. Two, three, four. Now, a lot of times people can make mistakes or not be able to find the intercostal spaces very easily. So a little trick sometimes is to find your angle of Louis, which is a little bump or a little, um, a little place on your sternum where the two bones join together. And that is always opposite the second rib. So if we find the angle of Louis and feel across, we can find the second rib. So above that is the first intercostal space, below it is the second, third, and then fourth. So that can be sometimes a trick to find the right place. Now V2 goes on the fourth intercostal space, half on the sternum, half off the sternum on the left-hand side. And then the next one we want to put on is V3, but V3 doesn't have any um, landmarks on the human body we can line up to. So we actually then skip V3 and we go to V4. V4 goes in the fifth intercostal space, mid clavicle. So we find our clavicle, find the midpoint, and go straight down, and then we put that in the fifth intercostal space. And then now what we can do is we can stick V3 on because V3 lines up to the um, one in, ones either side, so it's halfway up and halfway down, so exactly in a diagonal line. After that, we can put V5. V5 is end clavicle and it is directly in line with V4, so it might be in a gap, it might be on a rib, depending on your person's anatomy. And then we need to find V6, which is mid-axilla, and it's exactly in line with the previous one, V5. So once we've got our tabs on, that's really good. Um, we then need to stick our ECG, attach our ECG machine to the patient. Um, we want to place our... Um, block, our wire block, about knee height I would say, on the average patient, and then we can connect our wires to the patient. So we're going to connect our wires um, to the right places. Now the limb leads, they have an order with which they attach. Luckily the block is set out in that correct order, but if you wanted to get the order correct without that, um, that help, uh, the, right, the red lead, the red limb lead goes on the right hand and then it goes yellow, green and then black and an easy way to remember it that a lot of healthcare professionals use is ride your green bike. So red, yellow, green, black. Then we have our chest leads and our chest leads they're, they also have a colour order as well, but luckily these ones are always numbered. So you just literally put them on one to six. So V1, V2, V3, V4. 
D5, and then B6. Once we've done that, um, what we want to do is now record our ECG. So we might have to put the patient's information in, we can type in their information, their, their MRN, which is their patient ID, their last name, first name, date of birth, and gender. And then once we've got all that in, we then need to look at our screen, make sure that we've got a nice, good, clear image with no interference, and then we can just press the go button, which on this machine is a big green button that says ECG. And we press that, um, but before we press that, we might have to say to the patient, nice and still, nice and relaxed. And sometimes you find some patients, they can't bear to be quiet, so they will start to talk to you during the silence when you're looking at the machine. If they do start doing that, you can say, nice and still, nice and relaxed, nice and quiet, and then hopefully they'll just be quiet. Press print, we wait for it to come up on the screen, and there it is on the screen. Once we check it, just make sure it's okay, we can then print it off, um, and then it will send it to eCare. Once we've got that, we can then detach the patient from the ECG machine, so we're going to just take off the, um, the wires, so we just pinch each one, take them off, and then you can ask the patient to take off their own sticky tabs, but they might not recognise that there is, um, they might not get them all, so it's probably a good idea for you to help them take the sticky tabs off. Um, it's very lazy to leave the tabs on. If you are going to leave the tabs on, it has to be for a very specific reason, and if you don't have a specific reason, you're just being lazy, and we don't want people to do that. So take the tabs off. Give them a good waxing as you do it. You'll do handling that well, James. And then we're all done. Okay, so that's doing our 12-bit ECG. Thank you very much.